Yes, it is. Well, this is not Coach HP. If you remember the rules of podcasting, do you remember those, Craig? Yeah. Rule number one, as I recall, was do the podcast. <laughs> Coach HP has failed at rule number one. Yep. <laughs> he hasn't really been doing a lot of episodes. He's been very inconsistent. He, he did post a short with Dana White. So I don't know if that's coming out eventually. Oh my god, I won't I won't be able to we're gonna have to watch it's, that whole thing. It, there's no way it's a full podcast because you can tell he just tackled him at a UFC event. There's like loud music happening back in the background, it's dimly lit. <laughs> Are you one of my old fighters? Like he can't tell who he is. <laughs> <laughs> so uh Coach HP had a gentleman on who wrote a book about parenting. A at least this is now in Coach HP's wheelhouse. Right. <laughs> Coach HP works with kids. He's got a, a guide to parenting author on. That at least makes sense. I told uh, him, I said, don't do a kitty porn. That's right. Craig has to play that to himself every day. A reminder. <laughs> Can't have fun here. Um, by the way, shout out to uh, Quincy. A great episode last week. Oh, Craig my. called it, uh, you know, he called it uh, five hard-ons. <laughs> In all games. seriousness, I went to... Uh, uh, tell Matt and Tim on VGS about that episode. And as I'm explaining what happens, I'm like, I can't believe this was on television. On NBC. <laughs> it's dark as hell. Yeah. Yeah. It was an interesting one. Yeah. So uh, go watch Quincy on Patreon with us if you'd like. Um, but no, Coach HP is talking to uh, an author. And, uh, you know, the, the interview is definitely more warranted than usual, but no less douchey. Yeah. We're gonna hit it now. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk Let's about go. it right now. Here we go. I think we're we're live. Just starts like this. Three, two, one, boom. What's up, everybody? It's your coach. Welcome to the number one positivity podcast on the internet right now, the Coach HP show. And today I have a guy who I feel is doing it very right, man. My dad Nate from Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you hear what he said there? There's a whole lot in there. My dad, Nate. Yes. <laughs> may may I call you Papa? Will you get me Christmas gifts? <laughs> I have read your book, and I'd like you to be my father. <laughs> that is how much I love you now. <laughs> Go back. A guy who I feel is doing it very right, man. My dad, Nate, from <laughs> Dads Who Try. Nate. First of all, bro, how did you come up with a cool name like that? Like Dad's Who Try? <laughs> Actually, we came up with about 500 really bad names, and uh, we sent them to a friend. And she was like, have you just tried something like Dad's Who Try? Wow. Oh, my God. That Can is I mystifying. Can how I sign up? <laughs> how did you come up with a name like that? It's a book about dads who try. <laughs> how did you come up with that? That would be like asking me how I came up with the name of this show. Uh, well, it's my project, <laughs> so I figured I would put my name in front of it. <laughs> you just named it Project. You are looking, you are writing a book about dads who try. There are many options. That would have been great if you just called him dad the rest of this episode. <laughs> now, daddy. <laughs> Will you have a catch with me? <laughs> Uh, this, next, this next clip is... Uh, well, can I ask, by the way, that clip starts with him... Like, he just starts. He goes live right out of the gate before the guy even knows he's on the air. Why the countdown after you're already live? He goes, three, uh, two, one, we're live. I think he was panicking because it went live before he thought. Yeah. <laughs> That's my guess. All right, we're Coach HP and his dad. What's next? Uh, is this a census? Yeah, listen, these are podcast questions. This is not Coach HP didn't walk up to this man's door with government papers. <laughs> this is this is a podcast, apparently. Let me get a little bit of your background. Were, were you born in Los Angeles? Uh Seattle area. And then Seattle. You know, nine Registered years ago, Republican. my wife and I moved down here uh, to Los Angeles to plant a church. A church. A church. All right. And what's your ethnicity? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> go back because Coach HP has not. We we decided to plant a church. Is that what he says? That's what it sounded like. It's an interesting series of words strung together. I would think elaborate on that. What the heck does that mean, buddy, Dad? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Instead, Coach HP freezes and he goes, 
Are you uh, Italian? <laughs> yeah, just to plant a church. A church. A church. All right. And what's your ethnicity? Uh, Filipino in like assorted white. Yeah. Nice, bro. Nice. Okay. Nice. How many kids what's do you nice? have? <laughs> what's nice about that? <laughs> oh, uh, you Philip Craig. What what ethnicity are you? I'm assorted white. Um, and nice. more white. Yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does that get me off? <laughs> My fucking A. <laughs> Filipino and assorted white. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mike, uh, what ethnicity are you? I'm Italian and Irish mostly. Do you of... believe it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am hard as a rock. Please keep telling me where your ancestors hail from. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the Roman Empire. <laughs> and your great great grandmother. Where what country did they he she lived in? Your ethnicity. Uh Filipino in like assorted white. Yeah. Nice, bro. Nice. Okay. How <laughs> many kids do you have? <laughs> it's fucking business. <laughs> How hungry do you get at night? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be great if the if the interview was just all of that rapid fire. <laughs> That would, be aw- that would be awesome. Oh, how many adults are in your household? <laughs> Where did you go to high school? What degree <laughs> did you finish with? Uh, what is your biggest struggle uh, in math class? <laughs> I have two images here. There are seven differences. Can you spot them? Coach <laughs> <laughs> HP's terrible question. <laughs> how many kids yeah. do you have? They're so bad. What 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 ethnicity are you? What good does that do? None of the questions. Coach HP has never asked a follow up. And exam, point in case, case in point, whatever, um, is when he says, "Me and my wife planted a church," and Coach HP goes, "A church." Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. Is that like a, a thing I'm not aware of? Or <laughs> I I. I'm assuming he meant like another way of saying built a church. Is is he just being cute? We planted a church. I don't know. He might just be being cute. He could be he could be being cute, but yeah. Evidently they, they have a church and Coach HP is like, I would much prefer to know what race your grandfather was. <laughs> you strike as me. if that's gonna give me anything. <laughs> You strike me as someone who comes from a family who had difficulties in the 40s. <laughs> <laughs> well, half of them is, apparently. Yeah, yeah that's right. Assorted white and Filipino. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way I like it. Nice. <laughs> uh, this next one's called, Is This a Question? <laughs> well, let's hear it. Coach HP has a w- certain way with words, so let's hear whether or not this is a question. See, the universe never lies. So I do what you do for dads who try is what I do for baseball and sports with parents. We need more of that. Right. Everybody know of course I, I get that all the time. And one of the reasons why I wanted to have you on is the weird thing about this, Nate, is you don't know about this world till you're in this world true and then you're like oh my god what 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 is this craziness so the number one thing that attracted me to your content was (laughs) i didn't know about the coco melon the the all these things till we had our daughter first right so my daughter is five my son is three so i'm i'm on all these things this guy is trying so hard not to get Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, <Interesting. wow. laughs> I think he, do you think he picked up on him not asking a follow-up about the church? Yeah, there's no this leads nowhere. <laughs> My daughter did not know about the Coco Melons. <laughs> I haven't read the book, so I don't know what that means. But... I know I know way too much about the Coco Melons, dude. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Is that uh, a kid's thing? Yeah, and it's so annoying. Oh. It's, you should write a book about it and get on Coach HP show. 
Yeah, I'd be like, hey, Coach HP, uh, if you want to be sane, don't let your kids watch this because it's seven different versions of the wheels on the bus, <laughs> you know, like that kind now, of stuff. Craig, I understand you are very prideful. It says here you are one of the proud boys. <laughs> If I said I was a proud boy, he would legitimately <laughs> say that. Oh, that is very good. You should be proud. <laughs> but I lived in the kid world almost forever. Because mm. I've worked with, with kids, yep. with coaching, with kids, celebrity kids, famous athletes. <laughs> he just has to throw that in. Superstars. <laughs> models. <laughs> Nate, I need you to tell me, how do I teach these kids? Oh, billionaires, actors, athletes, <laughs> rich kids. <laughs> so we had our daughter first, right? So yeah. my daughter is five. My son is three. Ooh. So I'm, I'm on all <laughs> these things, but I lived in the kid world almost forever. Just like Craig. I worked with, with kids, yep. with coaching, with kids, celebrity kids. Famous athletes, the whole thing. And all I'm obsessed with is my favorite part is he's talking about kids. He's like, I work with, uh, you know, like less fortunate kids, celebrity kids, famous athletes. Okay. What's <laughs> that to do with me? I have worked with really the cream of the crop of this nation. Have you, Nate, let me ask you a question. Have you heard of uh, Joe Rogan? Keep it right here. Nate is the interview subject here. Yeah. Uh, keep that in mind as you listen to this question, quote unquote. You ever wondered where he got those tables? Oh, he he drops Rogan in this interview. Oh, shut up. I swear to God. <laughs> the clip didn't warrant it. I should have just grabbed it just because he said, but he says, uh, he says, you know, I was listening to an episode with my man Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, Coach HP is like what we do with uh, Why Are You Laughing with getting Norman at some point. <laughs> Yes, yeah, it's Coach HP with him. I'm it's sorry, Rogan. it's uh, Rogan with him. Yeah. Trying to show parents, look, an example, if Nate did it this way and he still gets along with his kids, why not we repeat the best thing we can do than what Nate's doing? <laughs> that's it. That's the question. What and that's where, it, and then uh, Nate has to go, yes, <laughs> I... <laughs> Yes, I am a parent. That's correct. <laughs> like, how, do you, how do you answer someone that's talking to you like that? Ah, you don't, because I'm pretty sure he did cocaine and drank three Red Bulls right before this. <laughs> I think he's just high on life, baby. He's a very passionate man. Uh, this next one's called Strange Alternative. Oh, the, yeah. The, the The options that he gives here, I don't know what it's like to be you know, a youth in these, in these, this current climate, I imagine they have other options than the two that are laid out here. What position is he playing? Uh, we don't know yet. Yeah. So every position. Okay. How's this catching? It, it's his biggest uh, struggle area. Okay. But, so this, this is what I want you to do. Yep. You're going to go with him in your backyard. Biggest mistake parents make dads make with their kids is they throw to them. Literally, like if they're throwing with a regular person, what happens is you want to avoid getting hit by a ball at all costs. Instant Even if trauma. Instant trauma. Instant like, oh, this is bullshit. I'd rather go fight somebody. I'm not dealing with this shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. That, this is, you play baseball or you get into street fights. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to point out, too, like, I've never been playing catch with my son and thrown the ball to him like he's my equal. Not once. <laughs> You're not slinging them in there? I'm throwing them underhand so they come in super soft and he can catch it. You're doing a fucking uh, Louis Tiant <laughs> <laughs> wind up? Dude, I'm doing the Byung Young Kim so he has no idea what's coming. <laughs> Stay right there. <laughs> hey, put on your mitt. It is either this or a brawl. <laughs> Bare knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Coach HP works in a world of extremes where either your son is playing catch or he's fighting thugs in the streets. If you don't catch this ball, I'm going to glue my knuckles and stick it in these broken glass and go see what I can find. 
Well, I went 0 for 3 today. I suppose I will bare knuckle box. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? Uh, I'd rather. I might as well go some... fight somebody. <laughs> you know, what's funny is that sounds like something we would say is like a joke, but it's legit what came out of his mouth. That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play catch. I'm going to go fight somebody. <laughs> I'm going you to go pick the wrong day to throw the ball over my head, Dad. If you don't catch this ball, I'm going to go do it with my my brother. Joe Rogan <laughs> shows me how. He's going to go <laughs> kick somebody on the sidewalk. <laughs> uh, next, uh, stealing Craig's motto. Oh, yeah, there's something Craig says to me before every show. He, I, I, and I've never understood why. And then Coach HP kind of encapsulated it for me. When you, when you guys park, okay, talk to me about dynamics. You get to the parking lot, who carries what, who picks up what, who's with you. Talk to me about that. <laughs> Wait, that's not what, it, what, that's not what it was supposed to be. Wasn't? No. Oh. No, he says something that alludes to pedophilia. I can't remember what it was. Oh, hold on. It certainly wasn't that. I told him, I said, don't do a kitty porn. That's what it was. Yep. That's so funny. I was like, I was like, I can't wait to, for you to explain this. <laughs> no, 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 that's not what it was. I must have fucked up. <laughs> that's disappointing. What did he say? Do you remember exactly? I don't remember. Craig's a rapist. Something like that. <laughs> that's, that's not true. Yeah, it was something like that. <laughs> Actually, I, 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 I had a line the other day that I, I think went unnoticed, unfortunately. But uh, Mick referred to his cousin i think mm -hmm. he said he's like really into i forget what they were talking cars or something like that he goes oh yeah he's a like real iron head idiot and i go i'm used to that <laughs> no one acknowledged it <laughs> but I, I was proud of it <laughs> i did i, I haven't finished, I haven't finished yeah. that episode yet so uh, i was I'll, happy I'll with it <laughs> keep an eye out for that one <laughs> that's very funny uh uh this is quick tone change okay i hope this is the right clip my dad prepared me for everything in life except mm. to deal with him. <laughs> so this dude was around 24-7. He, My dad worked for Pepsi. He was the youngest of 15 kids. And when he came here from Cuba, I became like his trophy with what <laughs> he did with me through baseball. So I haven't played baseball since I was three years old. And he did everything almost so perfect, man. Oh. Like I. I know adversity. I've never quit. I when I moved to Los Angeles, I lived in a car for six months. I slept in the Hollywood Wheels. I'm an animal, bro. I'm like Rambo of positivity. <laughs> Let's go. But, I'm the Rambo of positivity. <laughs> did you did you hear Nate there? He, Nate getting him all hyped up. He's like, my dad, this was all because of my father. And Nate's like, all right, let's go, baby. Let's go, dads. <laughs> Nate wrote a book about dads. He's very excited. <laughs> and then this is where Coach HP turns left on him. Six months, I slept in the Hollywood Wheels. I'm an animal, bro. I'm like Rambo of positivity. <laughs> Let's go. But, but he beat the shit out of me so <laughs> badly. <laughs> Nate's like, oh, well, I guess I'm sorry for cheering. <laughs> Let's go. This guy rules. <laughs> Oh, but he beat me something fierce. Let's go. But, but he beat the shit out of me so badly. <laughs> Look at Nate's face. Oh, Nate's like, oh, okay. I'm sorry. Everyone watching along is getting a treat right now looking at Nate's face. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Nate. <laughs> You're pay. right, though. I didn't pay enough attention to the fact that uh, Coach HP said, if you've ever seen the film Rambo about John Rambo, that is exactly like my life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Coach HP's life is like, uh, you ever seen it Always Sunny? When Frank is describing things about his life and Dennis is like, you're just describing the plot of Rambo. Right. <laughs> that's, that's Coach HP. Right. Uh I think the next one is our last one. Oh, no. I think. Hold on. Let me check here. I was getting a picture of Nate's face. <laughs> I just needed it. <laughs> um, 
yes, uh, no shaking this guy. Uh, he's he's um you know he's an unbreakable spirit. I'm gonna. I'm going to text you my thing. I'm going to call you because we're going to talk here, Because, uh, but I'm going to get off this. I'm going to call you so we're going to talk because I have a little bit of time because I want to help you with some stuff and I have some questions about his baseball. Guys, Nate, dads who try, this dude's a beast. We're going to push him your way. I'm so happy I found you, dude. At the time I found you, it's amazing. Last words, any last words, brother? Uh, thankful to be on. And yeah, I think the conversation, we got to keep. we got to keep going. We got to do this again. We got to do this again. I'm going to DM you right now my cell phone number. You're going to text me. Perfect. Let's do it. We're going to talk. You can't now, get rid of this motherfucker. Now, do you see how badly Coach HP wants to get off this stream? Coach HP wants to get off, you think? Yeah. Did you finish this video by any chance? No. Uh, well, I mean, I did, but. There is after this. He's like, oh, yeah, we got to go. And Oh, Nate, there's like seven minutes of dead air, right? Nate's still on the screen, and you see Coach HP just shut his laptop. He doesn't, like, <laughs> end of the stream. <laughs> yeah, it just sits there for a while. Yeah, it's like 10 minutes. But what I find fascinating is, like, you can't get He's like, I'm going to DM you my number. We're going to be best buddies. I'm going to call you to have a sleepover. <laughs> I, I just talk. They, they talk for 47 minutes, by the way. Yes, that's right. He warranted two and a half times what uh, Wallow from Million Dollars with a Game warranted. Yeah, exactly. And 10 times. He had Andrew Schultz on for five minutes. Yeah, I found I knew, that interview, finally. I didn't know he did that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he has he has Nate on for 47 minutes. And then he's like, I'm going to text you. You are going to call me. We are going to be best buddies and we are going to chat. You understand me? You understand? And it's like, we just talked for an hour, you motherfucker. <laughs> Don't make me don't make me show you what my dad taught me. <laughs> don't make me fly out to your house and sleep there for the weekend. <laughs> Are you in Austin? I'll be there tomorrow. But I did it to Brendan Schaub. I will not hesitate to do it to you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know what I think of David Lucas. <laughs> so it's a shame. I mean, like we have that fan, hopefully making more podcasts, but I wish Coach HP would do more too, because he's got to post more regularly. I know. Yeah. I know. Unfortunately, that video has like I think 13 views. Well, we're the only ones that watch it. But, yeah. <laughs> but he's doing it for us. 